Yes, hi Mr. Automation here again and um, again with the backup function uh, we created earlier and I wanted to extend that a little bit because it's kind of a lame function to be honest a lame script because it accepts like a folder as input but if I stick something inside of there that does not exist for instance then still this compressed archive will run and it will generate errors of course so that's that's a little bit yeah, sort of a lame script so let's extend that a little bit here so you can do that on uh, um, you can use several approaches for this uh, for instance you can uh, do for instance uh, I think it's a test uh, path and then you can stick in that folder right and if that returns true so you can do an if statement around it so you, you can do an if test path so if it exists and then you move all those guys inside of there right and then you can uh, put an else block there and then uh, you echo uh, uh, not found right and you stick in the folder you know what was not found the folder is not found right and yeah it, it's okay you can do it this way certainly with an if statement um, and i'll leave this example in by the way because there are people that like those kinds of approaches but i'll show you a better way um, and that's as follows so we remove all this rubbish, this all if statements and we re remove the validation like a couple of steps or uh, just an abstraction level higher, right? So what we do here, we uh, just expand this guy, right? You have PowerShell, I already gave a lot of demos on, how, on every parameter you can use and how to use them and one of them is uh, validate script, validate script and you open that and then you stick something inside of there. That's a script block. And I already teach you, you can do it this like in a multi-line script. Uh, but we do a simple, uh, I'll, I'll leave it this way, by the way. What we do now is do the test part. We do that here because that returns a true or false, right? So we do the test part on what? On dollar on the bar. Dollar on the bar is what the user provided as input inside of this folder. And then we can evaluate that result there. So now if we run the script, uh, the input first get evaluated before we basically proceed to the code. So let's run the script and uh, let's provide it the wrong value, right? So I'll stick something in there, let's see. See, it immediately fails. Uh, I will clear the screen by the way to create some real estate. We do that again. You see, cannot validate the argument on folder, the test blah 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 validate. You see that string did not return true and that's 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 the case because that doesn't exist so if you now run the script again and now we stick in a valid folder name so we take the the download folders again why not uh, so we copy that as a path and we stick that inside of here right uh, uh, hman backslash Backslash I said so downloads. You see? Now it's shipping again. You see? Get the new zip file here. It's there in the folder, right? It's created now. Uh, so that works. So now if you new specify the folder that does exist, you see, it immediately exits. So that's a little bit better than I think this test, you know, the it is if statements. Uh, it works as well, so feel free to use it, but just want to make you aware that you can do it with the validate script right up front. So basically that's not, your code is not even executing, your script is not running, it's still at the parameter validation step. And there it already fails. I think it's a better approach than doing it inside of your code. Um, so that's the compress archive and we're going to extend this a little bit more because the script is still a little bit lame, right? For instance, the compression part can fail. Right, so what we can do is do a try catch to wrap that around it. And then we move this guy into there. And what we do then is we specify minus error action stop. And what that means is if this command generates an error, please go inside of this catch block. And here you want to uh, inform the, so we do a write error, uh, error occurred. Uh, error equals and then we stick in some magic here I think it's dollar exception dot 
message. You stick that one in there. So we write that to the screen if it fails. Um, because the folder, for instance, you know, can exist, but still during the compression you can get an error. And this way you at least uh, catch that error and you get informed about it and uh, makes the script a little bit more robust, I think. Um, so that was it. That was the extension for the PowerShell backup script. Um, I will post the update uh, in the, on the video. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you next video. Bye.